Welcome back to the GSL and Tasteless living as Artosis. And we just saw a pretty even series there, one and one. Going on to round number three. Artosis, what are your thoughts? Are your thoughts is your mic on? Uh Artosis' mic is not on. Which will be another opportunity for us oh, to play gay oh. chicken. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where there I will it is. lose. All right. Okay. <laughs> of course, I I don't lose that game to Uh does We not. have Blistering Sands coming up. Yeah. And Blistering Sands is a map that we almost always see a lot of aggression on because of those back rocks. Uh, sentries can't really force field enough. Bunkers can't be built enough. And so we see so much aggression in this matchup on this map right now. I've never seen a long game on this map. Not since yeah. the beta. We don't really know have it. Doing. I mean, with the rocks in the back of your base, it's so easy to kill your opponent early. Yeah, yeah. Both Pro Protoss and Terran can do it. Sometimes, sometimes we have moments where both of them are doing it to each other yeah. at the same time. Absolutely. So all I'm saying is expect a shorter game. Yeah, I think it's going to be a very short game. TVP is sort of the opposite of TVP in StarCraft 1. Mm. Uh, when we play StarCraft 2, that was usually one of the longer matchups. In this case, very different, one of the shorter ones. Kind of a slugfest at the start, mm. which usually ends pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see what MC chooses to do in this map. Foxer, or rather uh, Marine King, sorry, will, I think it's pretty obvious, go Marines and Marauders. <laughs> but there's a lot of choices that we have for MC. So yeah. that's going to be the interesting part of this. Will he? What tech will he go for? Time will tell. That's right. The countdown started, so get ready. In the red, our Terran player, second place at GSL Season 2. Marine King Prime. Uh oh, Artosis. We'll get to this in a minute. Nice. In the blue. In a minute, we're going to get to it. In the blue, sporting the blizzard color. We have our Protoss winning that previous game. <coughs> he is. MC. Who looks like he's going to proxy gate. Yeah, he's definitely going to proxy gate. So, uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. We are going to see MC do a really cheesy build here. And you know what? Terran is not walling in. That's right. Uh-oh. So those Zealots are going to walk right in. But uh, in this game, you know, you can make a few bunkers, and Marines are uh, a lot different than in StarCraft 1. I know a StarCraft 1 player watches this. Oh, you didn't wall into Proxy? Ah, you're out. Unless you're Flash. But no, in StarCraft 2, it's a little bit... Uh, more reasonable to defend against. So we're yeah. going to have to see uh, how Marine King actually deals with this, but it looks like he's going to actually build his barracks at the choke, and that's not going to be a good thing for him, because no. uh, if MC does start to harass that, it's going to be a much slower barracks. And there he goes. He times it out so that the probe does not look weird going up at this time. Yeah. And going to instantly harass this SCV. He's going to want to dance this around like a madman and slow down the barracks as much as possible. Instead, he's going to go up and check the main base. But oftentimes, you'll see him try to do that. Now, there is a gasping gun. If he tries to make an add on Zelt's walk in, that's going to be a lot harder because he's going to have to either cancel it or wait it out. Yeah. We're going to find out. If he makes an add on, it's going to be so bad, Artosis. Definitely could be. Uh, uh oh, is it going to be? I would like to point out this is not very all in because MC is still making probes at home. He's only doing one gateway, so this is more of a pressure. See if I can catch you off guard, do some additional damage to you type of thing. Here comes the Zealot now. Going for the SCVs. SCVs undefended. Remember, they have much less HP in StarCraft 2 than they did in StarCraft 1. That's right. Zealot prancing in, going after the Marine now. Oh, and snaps that Marine. Hurts him quite a bit. Second Zelt here. And now you can attack SCVs and go after the Marine at the same time. And you do not want to defend with this amount. And there he goes. He tries to surround this Zelot with SCVs. The other Zelot not moving. Kind of just chilling. There he goes. He's Broke coming up. That. This actually might break MC. Well, uh, Marine King. Excuse me, Marine King. Sorry, I'm too excited. And he is losing actually so oh my much God. here. Is that going to be GG? I think it will be. I Tasis. think it is. Wow. And uh, right oh now, MC God. at home is getting a cybernetic score. So, I mean, 
He's got to be feeling pretty much on top of the world right now. No kidding. There is a mule and two SCVs running from the Zealot and Probe. Uh, don't really see Marine King winning this one. Nope. Even the mule just gave up. Yeah. GG. GG. Wow. And MC catches him totally off guard. I, I know he said it was going to be short. I did not think it was going to be that short. Yeah, I know that. That game was quick, wow. man. Okay. That game was just over two skews. Wow. Four minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah. Marine King cannot be happy about that. Um, well, MC has momentum on his side. The next map is Jungle Basin. Yeah. Um, wow. He just, what, what can I say? When he lost the second Marine, it was over. Yeah. There's just no way. Uh, you know, he probably, he thought he could deal with it with his Marines and SUVs. Probably should have instantly made a bunker. Yeah. And retreated to it and tried to rally around there, if at all possible. It's a hard situation, you know. If you make that bunker, then they can hit your barracks a bit, make it float off. And then if you have, only have like one or two Marines in the bunker, it's not going to be very good defense, especially when the Stalkers start rolling in because yeah. it was he was teching right up during that. He was going to switch over to Stalkers very soon thereafter. Yeah, I think I think you're absolutely correct, man. I mean, uh, we haven't seen that rush very much. We did see that in StarCraft 1, mm. one gate pressure into tech. Yeah. Um, and it was very good, so interesting to see it in StarCraft 2. And, uh, you know, had he walled in, it would have been a different game. Yeah, but, definitely. But uh, MC took a risk, and it paid off. It certainly did. Yes. Uh, well, I liked it, though. Yeah, I like what you said. It was like a StarCraft 1 build because... They're both StarCraft 1 ex-pro gamers. Actually, both ex-Protoss pro gamers in StarCraft 1. So they know builds like these very, very well. Yeah, I mean, obviously, as you said, yeah, Marine King's seen that kind of stuff before. He's done that kind of stuff before. Of course. So, uh, Marine King, feeling the hurt. He's like, oh, this is what it feels like. <laughs> Boxer's name in StarCraft 1 was Claire? Claire, yeah. It's he like was the, the girlfriend of Clyde. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to get this next game started pretty soon. I'm ready to go, Artosis. Are you? Uh, I am, but it looks like Marine King may not be. He's not very happy right now. Yeah. He looks sad. He is in the game. He needs a hug. <sighs> well, he's, he's not in our game, yeah, is he? Yeah, that guy, he's, he's done really well for himself. MC, though, he is up 2-1. to one. We're going to have to see if he can go up 3-1 to one and move on to the round of four because... This guy, man, he has a lot of skill. A lot of people pr predicted him to do very well in the GSL. Hasn't done so until this season. So we will have to see. It's going to be Jungle Basin. This is a good map for Protoss versus Terran. Yeah. And warping across that little river, across the rocks. I don't think, him up there too, I think Marine ramps. King's probably a little bit worried at this point in time. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong on this map. Yeah, Jungle Basin and then Shakur's Plateau, those are both good maps for Protoss yeah. vs. Terran. So, Marine King can't be happy at this point. He probably really want to take that Blistering Sands game down. Didn't happen. You're going to have to take down these two games, Marine King, if you want to move on to the round of four. Yeah. So, let's see if he can come back. Um, we Looks like we have a... Okay, nope, the game counter started, so get ready.